Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Sucre with the Arizona Trauma Association, and this is Trauma in a Flash. In the prior episode of Trauma in a Flash, I covered the compelling reasons to perform fascia iliaca blocks in patients with hip fractures. We perform the fascia iliaca block with placement of an on cue catheter utilizing the lateral to medial approach at the level of the femoral crease. Here, we can visualize the sartorius muscle in the superficial and lateral position, the common femoral artery in the medial position, and the iliopsoas muscle with its overlying fascia in the deep position. The target area is the fascia iliaca space lateral to the femoral nerve. Also included in this space is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, which runs obliquely and more superior on the iliacus muscle. The patient is prepped and draped with full sterile technique. A high frequency linear transducer is placed at the level of the femoral crease. Check the target area with color flow to ensure it is free of any vascular structures. Infiltrate the dermis of the planned entry site with 1% plain lidocaine. Connect the tubing needle to the tubing and have an assistant flush anesthetic to remove all air bubbles. We use 40 cc's of 0.2% ropivacaine. Insert the tubing needle and follow the tip with the ultrasound probe. As it passes through the superficial fascia, a pop will be felt. A second pop is felt as you pass the fascia iliaca. The needle tip should be lateral to the common femoral artery and nerve below the fascia iliaca and above the iliopsoas muscle. Next, have your assistant aspirate to ensure no blood return. Infiltrate 5 cc's and watch for the fascia to lift off the muscle confirming your position in the fascia iliaca space. Perform a second aspiration to ensure no blood return. Now infiltrate 15 cc's watching for spread of the anesthetic as it continues to push the iliaca fascia superiorly. Aspirate again for safety, then infiltrate another 15 cc's. Place the on cue catheter through the tumi needle. You will feel a slight resistance as it passes the angle of the needle tip. Pass slightly further and remove the tumi needle along with the catheter stiffening wire. Connect the stingray cap to the on cue catheter. Dry the area of insertion with 4x4s. Apply Dermabond in a bio patch to the catheter insertion site. Position the catheter superior and medially on the patient and cover with a tegaderm. Aspirate one final time to ensure no blood return. Infiltrate the final 5 cc's of ropivacaine. Connect the on cue ball delivery system and ensure the clamp is off. We typically set it to 8 cc's per hour. This can be titrated based on the patient pain level. In our experience, the patients report immediate and significant reduction in pain. Additionally, they have long-lasting pain control through the post-operative period. To date, we have not seen any complications with this technique. Additionally, we have not seen any bleeding complications associated with this technique in patients on antiplatelet therapy or on full anticoagulation. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Trauma in a Flash.